Good morning. It's great to be with you again. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm Melissa Ebkin. I'm coming live to you on Monday. And this is a huge sacrifice because I'm watching Olympic highlights. Yeah, I turned it off right now so that I wouldn't be distracted. But I am obsessed with the Olympics. I know I'm not the only one. I know many of you are also. Honestly, I don't know if any of you are going to stop and watch this video this week. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't because the Olympics are on. And it's totally unfair that we have to continue working and producing and doing all of the things in this world because the Olympics are on. I know a lot of people have a lot of different views on the Olympics, but for me, I am just beyond awestruck at the athletes and the training and the preparation that they go through in order to compete at this level. I remember several years ago, there was a commercial about the Olympics and it had an athlete who said, I have not had a potato chip in however many years. That is commitment and focus. I saw an article about Jordan Childs that Jordan Childs shared on uh, an interview. She shared the workout that she and Simone Biles did while they were in quarantine, the workout that their coaches sent, just the core workout. <laughs> it took me 20 minutes to read that, that description. Honestly, the amount of focus that they put into their craft and the commitment they have, it is otherworldly. And I want to take that and challenge you this week to have that mindset for this week. How can you focus for one week and make your life better in whatever way you want it to be better in? Pick out, well, let's start here. Pick out one part of your life. Is it work? Is it relationships? Is it cooking healthier or exercising more? Whatever, pick out one aspect of your life. Do you have a home improvement project that you're kind of stuck in? Pick out something, one thing, and have a focus and commitment, an Olympic focus and commitment this week to see it through. And see what seven days of focused energy will do. There's a saying that I really like, and it is where focus goes, energy flows. And that is the truth. Where focus goes, energy flows. Whatever we have our mind set on, that's where all of our resources are going to go. I'm not going to get a lot accomplished on a sermon if I'm not focused on it at all doesn't make sense. But if I am laser focused on that sermon, all of the thoughts I have, all of the experiences I have, the conversations, everything else is going to be filtered through that lens. And where my focus goes, that energy will flow. So I invite you to pick your one thing this week. Get your mind set on it. Pick a good thing. Pick a good thing. Pick something that's going to build you up or your family or your community. Pick something that's going to add life and vitality to you and those around you and have an Olympic laser-like focus this week and see what you can accomplish. Where focus goes, energy flows. Now this can also work against us. If we are focused on how badly our back hurts or if we are focused on whatever is plaguing us at the moment, then all of our resources and energy is going to go to that. So don't do that. Pick something positive, pick an affirmation, pick something that is going to build you up and make your life better this week. Have an Olympic focus and see how the resources and energy just come together in that for you this week. That is it for today. I want to keep it short. 
I want to remind you again, my name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor in Iliopolis and in Niantic, Illinois, two rural congregations in the center of the state. And I am the founder of Light, Life, and Love Ministries. And this is an outreach effort to to connect with you if you're not a part of a church or you're not sure you're ready to be part of a church yet, but you're interested in your spiritual growth and development, then reach out to me through Light, Life, and Love Ministries and let's work on your spiritual growth. So this week, Olympic focus, where focus goes, energy flows. Have a fantastic week. I'm gonna get back to the gymnastics that I missed. Bye for now.